Hey, what's up people? Welcome back. I've made a series of six videos or seven videos on uh, crate training. I show you more than just a method. I made a series of them so you can see what I do with my puppy from day one all the way to day five and then what happened in the second week. This is just to inspire you. If you need to crate train your dog, have faith. First day, second day, it was extremely hard. You yourself won't sleep very, very well. For me, really, I have three sleepless nights. Not a very long time and you will see when the dogs switch when they adapt they can completely transform very quickly um, so I just want you to show your dog a lot of, a lot of love stay with him and know when to leave the room you leave the room when your puppy is calm and don't come back just because you whined for two minutes come back when you feel like oh it's getting too much and then you continue with the process so let's go and see it Normally I go to bed at midnight. It's not yet 11. I'm starting this early. It's a mind game. The moment he thinks about coming out, the gate shuts. So he doesn't understand my language. So by talking to him, it doesn't help. Say, hey, you can't come out. This is the language. I want him to lay down and relax. We are not done yet. As you can see, I'm not trying to scare him or anything, and he's not scared. It's hard because he does look a bit sad. He might whine again, and I'll repeat, I am prepared to come back for as many times as necessary. You had children, same thing, right? You had baby, don't expect to sleep well the first night. It's Vinci's first night. He's learning nighttime. Any of those whining means he's not completely calm. What he just did was good. We want more of that. So his mind is thinking about trying it again. Get out of here. You see, cry means open the door, and I do. But then if he tries to come out, the door shuts. So crying doesn't mean anything. Biting the cage, different, no, no. Oh. <laughs> hard enough. I think the cage is how dogs hurt themselves. They eh? don't want the dog to bite their cage. Put their paws through. Notice when they get loud or they bite the cage, you open the door. So I give them what they want. Open the door, but still, the door shuts when they try. I feel like I just want to take off a little bit. And I'll see how, how it goes. Not too loud, but we'll just see how it goes. Maybe he'll just fall asleep. Okay, what just happened was I just left and he started whining and my daughter could not stand his whining because he's too cute. I got him all fired up because my daughter opened the door. Let her out, give her, give her a big cuddle, let him run around. So we start over. It's important you talk to your family members about training, keep it consistent, otherwise three steps backwards.
as we talk, he's come down again. So I'm just gonna leave him. Uh, I'll be back in three hours. If he doesn't whine, I'll be back in three hours to let him up to use the toilet. Um, hopefully he doesn't. But if he does and he goes too bad, too excessive, I'll come back and check on him. For the break, they did well. It's uh, two thirty in the morning, so let them out. Sometimes after five minutes they just come down and that's job done. So.